So welcome back everyone. Now Linux Mint is another amazing and lightweighted Linux distro that many people want to give a try. And if you also want to enjoy the Linux Mint as a dual boot alongside with your Windows 10 or 11, then make sure that you watch this small video where I will be explaining you step by step how to enjoy it. So the very first thing that you will have to do, you need to create a new partition for the Linux Mint where you can install the Linux Mint. Now why I am not recommending you to dual boot on the same partition because in the future it can create a lot of problem like if you want to remove the dual boot then you will not be able to properly do that so i always recommend you that if you want to enjoy the dual boot not only with the linux mint or with any other operating system then kindly create on a new partition so right now you can see i have only one partition here so what i can do i can right click on the windows icon click on disk management and here from the disk management i can take out some space from the c drive so i have to make a right click on it Click shrink volume. Now it will ask you how much space do you want to shrink. Now it will all depend that how much space you have available in your partition in your C drive. And make sure that you leave at least 25 to 30 gigabyte free on your C drive. Apart of that, depending what kind of use you have, how many applications you have to install, you can just create a partition. So as of now for the demo purpose, I will take somewhere around like 24 to 25 gigabyte. So I have to enter the amount in the MB. So one gigabyte is 1024 MB. So for 25, I have to enter the amount somewhere in 25,000. Then I will click on shrink. And now you can see around 24.42 gigabyte unallocated space has been created. Now in order to create a new partition, I will right click on it. New simple volume. Click on next, next, next. And the volume label, I will name it like mint because it will become easier to understand that which partition contains the mint operating system. Then you will have to click on next and finish. And bingo. So now you can see you have two different partition. Even if I bring up the file explorer. So we have one partition here local disk C that contains the windows. And this is a new partition where we will be installing the mint operating system to dual boot. Okay. So we are done with the first step. Now next we have to download the mint ISO and create a bootable usb so bring up any of your favorite browser and then you have to search for linux mint click on the first link linux mint linux mint official website will be up here you have to click on download and here you find different additions like cinnamon edition then you have xfce edition and the mate edition now the one i recommend you you can go with the cinnamon edition so click on download then scroll down and choose the location wherever you are located choose the nearest server location and then you have to click on it and the iso will start downloading so it's around 2.9 gigabytes so it won't take much time so kindly wait until the downloading is being completed okay so once the iso get downloaded now next you have to download the rufu software that will be helping us to create a bootable usb of the mint so click on the first link scroll down and click refuse 4.5.exe and it's a small file so it will be quickly downloaded so click on the downloaded file click on yes and this kind of refuse dashboard will be up now here at the top in the device section you have to connect your bootable usb and it will be automatically detected here but still make sure that the right usb has been selected and you don't have any kind of data inside it then in the boot selection click on select now locate to the place where you have downloaded the Linux Mint ISO. Click on open. Now you don't have to make any changes. Simply click on start. Click on OK. Click on yes. Again, it will give you a warning that all the data will be deleted. So click on OK. And the process of creating a bootable USB will be started. So again, wait for a few seconds. I mean, like it take around two to three minutes. So wait until it's all been done. Okay, so finally the bootable USB is ready and it took about like 3 to 4 minutes. So you will have to keep some patience. Okay, now once it's been connected, you will have to click on close. And now you have to restart the computer and boot with this particular bootable USB. So if you want to install the dual boot on the same machine, then you can simply go ahead and restart it. But if you want to do with any other computer, then you have to plug out the USB and plug into that particular computer. 
All right, so go ahead and restart the computer in the BIOS and change the boot priority order. Select the USB, hit the enter key. All right, and now this time you will be getting this kind of a screen that says on the top, start Linux main 21.3, Cinnamon 64 bit. Okay, so you have to select the first option only. Hit the enter key. Okay, so it will take about a minute or two and then finally you will come to the dashboard of the Linux Mint. Now this is only the trial version, the testing version, I mean, so if you want to test that how exactly it works, so you can check the navigations, what kind of options you get, uh, you can click on another options, like you can check the network setting, your Wi-Fi, all the detail, and once you are okay, once you finalize to go with the installation, then you have to click here, install Linux Mint. Make a double click on it and the installation wizard will be up. Now choose your desired language. Click on continue. Choose the keyboard layout. And if you want to test, then you can type here and see whether your keyboard is working or not. Then finally, click on continue. Then it says install multimedia codecs. Multimedia codecs are required to play some video format and to properly render some website. It's recommended that you should check this option. Do not uncheck it. Click continue. Now next it will ask you the select drive option. So you have to select the drive. And below it says allocate drive space by dragging the divider below. Now here you can adjust the space that you want to give to the Linux Mint. So I will give somewhere around 25 or 26. Then I have to click on install now. Before you can select a new partition size. Okay, I have to click on continue, click continue again, choose your location wherever you are located, then click on continue. Then it asks you who are you, so just type your all the information. So once everything is done correctly, you will find the tick mark. Now finally you have to click on continue and the installation process will be started. Now again it will take some time, so you will have to wait until it's all been done. Alright, so once the installation will be completed, it will ask you to restart. So click restart now. And then it will say, please remove the installation medium. So just remove the bootable USB and hit the enter key. So finally, you will see the dual screen. But here for the first time, you have to select the first option. That will be the Linux Mint. Enter the password that you created. And this time you will be getting the welcome message. So click on let's go. Then it will give you some kind of customization. So if you want to do that, you can do that. I will skip as of now and then finally click on close. So finally, we have the Linux Mint as a dual boot on our Windows PC and laptop. And now it's working much smoothly, very fast. Okay, so this is our Linux Mint. And now let's go ahead and restart the computer and boot with the Windows 11. So again, I will go ahead and restart. The next time when the computer comes up, you will be getting the same screen. For Linux Mint, you have to select the first option. And for Windows 10 or 11, you have to choose Windows Boot Manager. Okay, so bingo, now you can see that the Windows is coming up. So that's all guys for today. And this is how exactly you can dual boot easily with few simple steps. And you can enjoy both Windows 10 or 11 alongside with the Linux Mint. And if you find the video helpful guys, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.